everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little fun video to do. I did this previously a couple months ago. I did a full face using my most expensive products. So what I've done today is I've gone through my collection, found my most inexpensive products in all categories. And what I'm gonna do is create some sort of makeup look for you. And that'll be the video. Hopefully it turns out well, I'm not even sure. So if you're interested to see my cheapest makeup in action, please keep watching. Okay, so the first product I have is a primer. This is the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I bought this so long ago, but I did test it to make sure it was not gone bad. It has not. This retails for $4.90. Um, usually I actually like a silicone free primer, but anyways, I bought this one time. I don't even know when. So I'm gonna take a good amount of that and work it into the face. I've already applied my all my skincare before this video started. This is a very slippery, silicone-y texture. But does it really like blur or anything? I don't know. I would say no. Kind of just makes your face feel slippery. So I went through all my foundation and the cheapest one that I could find, I did have the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, which if you watch me, you know it's my absolute favorite, but it's $6.99 in Canada when it's on sale. So I thought to be fair, this one right here, the Ordinary, coverage foundation is regular price six dollars and ninety cents so i'm going to try this out today um again i tested it to make sure it has not gone bad because this is old i don't even know when i bought this this is in the shade light medium 2.0 n it's a very thin texture i don't remember if i like this clearly i didn't love it because if i did i would have used it all but anyways that's another story and i don't even know if this color will match me but i'll try my best to make it work i'm gonna pump some of this out not even coming out that well. Okay, here we go. Definitely two has a yellow undertone. It's supposed to be a neutral undertone. Oh, so the primer is interfering with the foundation. It's kind of making it pill, Lord Jesus. I'm going in with a makeup brush right now to kind of smooth this product out because it's not really working with the sponge at this point. This is, this is probably the reason why I stopped using this and the primer. I don't know. Probably hated both of these. And like I can hear the foundation in this, but nothing's coming out. Let's try the brush instead of the sponge. It is pretty good coverage though. I had a little zit right here and I just briefly kind of went over it and it's pretty much covered. So the coverage on here is good. It does look like skin still, so it's not like a mask, which is nice. Some people might like that. I have a broken blood vessel here. Covers that pretty well. Covered up my dark circles pretty well. So I can say I like it much better with the brush rather than a sponge. Okay, so next up I have concealer. I searched my collection. This would be the cheapest one. This retails for $4.99. It is the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. Waterproof in the shade 30 light honey again don't really remember using this i think i bought it for like a first impressions video i'm gonna kind of put this all over to even out the yellowness of the foundation put some on my little zit over here start to blend that out with my damp sponge definitely easy to blend out do i think it does like wonders for my dark circles i'm not too sure i don't really like using my finger with this product Thing. Next I'm going to set my eye. This is the Cody Airspun Powder. I really like this powder. Um, you can buy this in the United States. You can find it for like $6. In Canada though, good luck. You're going to pay like 20 something dollars on eBay. In that case, I don't think it's worth it. But if you can find this in the States, if you can get across the border eventually. Um, this you can find for pretty cheap. And I do really like this. I use this every day. So this is a pretty, this is a staple for me. Okay, now to set my whole face, I'm going to be going in with the Essence All About Matte Powder. This retails for $4.99. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with a little bit of translucent powder for $4.99. I don't think. I don't remember. So I'm taking this spicy choco brush. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face. Then I'm just going to wipe away the Cody Airspun. So now I'm going in with bronzer. So the bronzer I'm going to be using today is the Rimmel natural bronzer in number 21 sunlight this is a cult kind of classic people buy this all the time it's really popular in canada you can find this for eight dollars and 98 cents 
good deal on a bronzer. You can even find it on sale sometimes. So I have number 21 Sunlight, so we're gonna go in with that. I haven't used this bronzer in a very, very long time. I used to love it, but then I found Benefit Hula. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a slimmer brush just to kind of carve out now certain areas. Like I want a little bit more on my cheeks, but I need a little bit more of a precise brush to do that. Also going to run some down the sides of my nose. Next up, I'm applying this e.l.f. White Gold Highlighter, which I love. This is a great affordable highlighter. It retails for $8.50, not a bad price. Kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Master Chrome one. Maybelline one has a better consistency. This one feels a little bit more cheap, a little bit dry. But the Maybelline one is also double the price, so it's a good dupe. Okay, so for my blush, I'm going to be using the Essence Mosaic Blush. It's called All You Need Is Pink. It retails for $4.99. Good deal. That's a good deal. It's a nice blush. It has a subtle pink color. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but not like glitter. Just a little bit of like an iridescence, which I really like in a blush because it makes your cheeks look very healthy. It is Catrice Matte Finish Prime and Fine Anti-Shine Spray. It retails for $9.99 in Canada. Oh, this is the pissy smell one. This is, I don't like this. It's the only thing I have. Oh, Lord. This all day, I'm going to smell like pee. I do it for the love of makeup. But it's disgusting. Okay, I don't know whatever they put in this, but the smell on this, and I don't know if it's just maybe doesn't work with my nose or something, but I cannot stand the smell. It has a fragrance. It says last ingredient in here is a fragrance. Whatever that fragrance is, it reminds me of, you know when you get that pissy baby breath smell? It kind of reminds me of that. And it lasts, it lingers, because I there's been times where I've worn this out. I tried to get through a bottle because I felt bad, but I'm like, I had to stop using it. Now I remember why. Okay, so I'm going to skip eyeshadow primer just because I don't really have any cheap ones. So we're going to skip that whole step, and we're going to go in with this palette. It's the Essence Spice Up Your Life. I thought it was a good palette to use today. It gives me a good variety of shades. Um, this retails for $12.99. Also, the price is incredible for what you get. First, I'm going to go in with Mulled Wines. We're going to go in with that shade. Very pigmented. I haven't used this in a long time. I don't remember. And this is a pigmented shade. Was not expecting this. Okay. Wow, not the look I was going for, but we're just going to, we're just going to work with it. Test out this red shade. I'm gonna test it out. This is called Cha Cha Sriracha. Pretty nice, not bad. Keeping this one just right in the crease. I'm gonna keep the same brush. I'm using Makeup Geek. Uh, this is a soft dome brush. I'm gonna now dip into Cinnamon Rolls, which is a dark brown shade. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of this Spiced Apple Cider shade, which is this really nice gold shadow. I'm also going to mix a little bit of curry in a hurry. These names are hilarious. So we're going to put a little bit of that gold. More is focusing that in the center of the eye. And then in the inner corner, I'm going to take this Caramelts. This is a very light kind of beige shade. We're going to take that. Underneath my lash line, I'm going to run a little bit of this hot chili shade, which is kind of like a purple, almost like what we used up in here in the crease. I'm gonna use that right underneath the lower lash line. The cheapest eyeliner I own is from e.l.f. It's called the No Budge Eyeliner. It retails for $5.70. I don't really remember how I feel about this eyeliner, but we're going to find out. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this liner as well on this Benefit. Um, this is a brow brush. I'm going to wing it out, kind of smudge it out. I'm liking the way it's actually applying to my eye. I'm going to take a little bit more of that cinnamon roll eyeshadow from the Essence palette. And now I'm just going to smoke out this wing a little bit more. I just added a little bit of a cat eye kind of in the corner of the eye too, just to kind of change it up. I don't know, do something a little bit different. Okay, so the cheapest mascara I own, funny enough, is my favorite mascara that I own. And I own a lot of mascaras, and this is my favorite. It retails for $4.99. It's the Essence Lash Princess Waterproof. It's amazing. I love it. I usually do more than one coat, but because I'm going to put a pair of fake eyelashes on, one coat's good enough for now. 
So the cheapest lashes I own are Red Cherry. These are in the style 217. I'm going to wear these today. I was actually surprised. They retail for $4.99 now. I used to buy these all the time. And I think they retail for $1.99. So when, when I went on the website today and figured out that they were now $4.99, I thought, wow, times, times have changed. But anyways, these are the cheapest lashes I own, $4.99. I do like them. I wore them the other day. So we're going to apply those. Okay, so next I'm moving along to my eyebrows. We're almost there. The first product I'm going to be using is the Ultra Profice Brow Pencil by e.l.f. in Natural Brown. This one retails for $7.06. And then I had the e.l.f. Wow Brow in Taupe, which is my favorite um, eyebrow gel right now. And that one retails for $5.70. I use this every single day. I love it. So first we're going to go in with this precise pencil. If I can remember, I think the shade was a little bit dark for me. But we're going to make it work because it's the cheapest brow pencil I own. Okay, so to finish off my look, I have this product, which I haven't even tried yet. It's the Annabelle Big Show Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Hypnotic. This retails for $9.95. Pretty much the cheapest lip product I could find. I find all my lip products, except for lip chaps, they all range around the $10 mark. Okay, so this is my finished look using my cheapest makeup products. The whole look, the whole face retails for $111.63, which is not too bad. The last time I did this video with my most expensive products, I think it cost $1,000. It was crazy. It was over $1,000. You definitely can achieve a full glam face for under $100. If you're starting from scratch, you had to pick up all products, you can do it for about $100-ish, which is not too bad, in my opinion. Okay, so this is the end of my video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, as always, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.